Hey Fight Makers, it's Lila with LB Novelties and we are planning another fun weekly spread fall theme. Can you tell how much I love fall? I even did a little cute setup here for you guys so I wanted to make it a really fun and festive time while we watch these videos of course and um, I really really love fall. I love anything seasonal. Um, my heart just gets really excited when it um, sees anything seasonal and decorating and something about the warm tones of fall make my heart so happy. So <laughs> I'm going to be um, planning in my horizontal planner, which is my social media planner for the week of September 14th through the 20th. And this time around, I have some fun things pulled aside that I will be using to plan. And uh, of course, I have this paper pad that I got at Target and I think I showed you last time that I got I think I showed it in my stories I can't remember but this is only a dollar so I found the orange one because I have the other color which is like kind of like a blue and green tone to it so I might use um, some of these punched we'll see or just cut out but what really is going to be the focus of this spread is this Mambi stick from the Squaw Golds. I've been saving it for fall and I'm going to have to figure out how to make it fit into my horizontal while leaving me space to plan. So stay tuned for that. And I think I want to include him because he's so cute. I also have two sticker books pulled out. So I have my squat sister, Jessica. Um, she has her own uh, boutique shop and it's called Live Love Posh. I think everybody knows by now the, the amazing sticker book that she came out with, Floral Blossoms. Uh, but I love this one so much and especially for the seasonal florals. So I used a couple of these um, leaves and stuff. I think I used it in my monthly in September. I think I did. It's been a while since I filmed a video. But I want to use these florals as well and I hope it will work with the girls. If not... I think I can make it work. So that's kind of the theme I want to bring in is these like fun fall florals. And then I do have this sticker book. This is the best year ever. This came out with the back to class collection uh, from the Happy Planner recently. Um, the, the reason I got this, I wasn't going to get it, but they had the uh, items at 60% off at Michael's. Um, I think since it's this came out, I believe, in May. So it's been out for a couple of months, and I think they're, you know, wanting to get out product to bring in the newer products. So that's another thing I recommend is, you know, sometimes just hold off and see and go back and see a couple months later if, the, if they're still available. And they always have great sales. So I always wait for items to be in a really great deal. So I'm happy I got this because I got it for $8. And this one um, has some like seasonal, It's well, I mean, it's a seasonal sticker book, but it has a really great selection of fall stickers. And I've already started using them, as you can tell. I used it in a current spread. So I have this one out because I like the colorful boxes, but I love these leaves. So I'm thinking this might work with this kind of combination. We'll see, guys. But you know, I always like to just kind of wing it. So the main thing is using the sticker and then working around that. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. I do have my washi here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it, but um, I will see if I do end up using it. And I do in this little jar, or it gets like a little pot. This is on my desktop and I showed you guys this on my fall decoration space. But I also have these punched card stock items. And I just used the Happy Planner punch and I had extras from my fall bucket list. I used card stock for my fall bucket list. So this is from the one that I was telling you that is from the tar Target paper pad, but it's the blue tone one. So I wanted to get the one with the orange tone as well. But I have it in here, so whenever I want to use seasonal stuff, I always have it easily accessible for me. So long spiel, let's get into planning my horizontal weekly spread. So I'm going to put these to the side for now so I can focus on this sticker. Because this is a pretty large sticker. If this was a clear backing, I would be like, no problem but it has um, like a white um, and it's not like the paper that we normally see in our sticker books, like the paper sheets. It has like a gloss to it. Um, it's not shiny. It just has like kind of a, uh, I'm not even sure how to explain it. It's like a glossy finish to it, but it's thick paper. So that's what I love too, is these Mambi sticks are really thick. Um, but again, like I said, it's not your usual clear one. So that's the only thing is I'm trying to figure out how to get this to fit without it taking up too much space. So what I think I'm gonna do is kind of extend it out so it'll take this part off, which is okay, because I want it to have a little bit of the leaves. Because um, if I do it like this, it, gives, it still leaves me space right here to plan. So I'm just trying to figure this out. 
All right, so I'm gonna lay it a little bit like that. But anyways, I'm gonna bring out my EK Tools X-Acto knife. So it's a retractable knife, but I was just say X-Acto knife. And I'm gonna trim right over here along her arm. Yeah, so that took a minute to clean this up and it left a little bit of a residue. So I definitely recommend if you're gonna use your Mambi sticks directly onto your spread, um, I would say trim it before you lay it down if it's something you wanna trim out like how high I did. Um, Cause it was a little bit hard to get this out. So I might just add like some leaves here, but it's as clean as I could get it. And sometimes that's just stuff that happens um, when you're trying out something new like this. So I've used Mambi sticks before, but they're the clear ones, not the uh, paper ones like this one. Let's see if I did that right. But yeah, I've used the clear ones on, on my spreads prior to this. And I think I've used paper ones before, but I don't think I've had to trim them. So that's the only thing. It's like I just lay them down and that's it. Um, so just a little FYI, if you're planning on trimming it, um, don't press it down too hard or you know, go ahead and plan it, um, trim it out prior to that. And I do have some of these leaves. So I think I'm gonna use these ones that I trimmed from the uh, excess to kind of work around that area that I got a little bit of residue left over. And that way it's all good. Okay, that's cute, see? It's super easy to fix. And it still, again, leaves me space to plan. Okay, so now that we have the girls laid out, um, cause that was a major piece. I do want to add this dog cause he's so cute. And I think I want to add him here, but I want to add some kind of like florals or leaves, um, from the sticker books. So I'm gonna bring these out and I think I'm not going to use cardstock for this one. Um, since it's a lot going on with these leaf stickers and the like larger icons, but again, I love using cardstock for anything fun and seasonal. So I have these, I just wanna see how this would look. I'm trying to hold him, let me put him down and then pull this one out. Why am I having struggles today with my stickers? <laughs> All right, there we go. And I like this color. I'm just wondering how this would look. I think that would be cute, like that. And then add him. And again, it still leaves me space to plan. Before I add more of these branches, I do wanna see what uh, is in the sticker book from Jessica's sticker book. So I'm not sure if this, this floral will go with this. Let me just see, let me just see. Hmm. I do like this one, I just feel like I might save this more for a, cause I just thought of like the purples and stuff would be really cute for like a Halloween spread. And I'm gonna stick more to these leaves that she has. So I'm gonna put this guy back in here so I could save it. And again, she gives you two sticker sheets of these. So I wanna make sure it saves, let me press it down. So you have two sticker sheets of each design. I like this, and then I'll just trim this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim along the line because you guys know I like to kind of keep it inside the box. Visually, I just like that style. So it looks like it's popping out. Okay, that looks so cute. That combination of these leaves from Jessica Sticker Book with the leaves from, the branch leaves from the best year yet. Okay, perfect. That looks so cute. All right. Okay, I love this so much. All right, and I wonder if I should bring in some of this green that she has. Maybe just a little pop of green on this side. Again, I'm gonna trim it. Oh my God, that is so cute. Okay, so I lowered the lighting in my ring light because I was noticing since this has that glossy finish that it was looking a little bit like it had a glare. So I hope that helped a little bit for you guys. Again, it just depends on the stickers I'm using. Sometimes they have a glare and sometimes they don't. And when I'm just filming, I just hit my little remote button and that's how sometimes the clips don't film or I don't realize that I'm out of battery. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so for sure I want to bring in some more of these branches. Because I feel like it's such fall vibes. And someone asked me, I'm trying to remember what video it was. Oh, um, they asked me, I believe either here or on my Instagram, where I got these leaves that I used in my wall calendar. Those were from a sticker dashboard. It was like the student one from last year. But this one again has the exact same branches. Um, I think these the ones that I got were clear in the other dashboard, but these are paper. But just so you guys know, um, sometimes they have a little bit of like a repetitive look in regards to like items. So it's just about looking for them. Okay, I like that little pop right there. And again, I'm just gonna trim it. I'm loving this color scheme so much. Um, and then also I have been, this is like my second round filming with the new ring light setup. So I'm still kind of figuring it out as I go, like realizing I have space now to like extend my arms. And before I used to kind of have to like film like around here. So thanks for be being patient as I figure out this whole new system. Okay, this is looking so cute with him right there. I think I do need a leaf here. The only thing is I'm trying to figure out um, what I'm gonna do is last time when I wanted to do my follower count and like I just keep track of like my counts to see how I'm progressing. I'm just gonna do a note card inside my planner. I did that for one spread because I know it's not gonna fit here but I wanted to include this. So that's a little um, tip I suggest too is doing something like that. And I do wanna use some of these boxes. Like this one is so cute. So for Monday, I wanna use some boxes. Okay another box I think I could do the green one yeah, I like that and there is these little like let me get my tweezers out because you guys know I like to use like bullet points to kind of list out where I need to get stuff done and they have these ones they're kind of similar to the colors I'm not sure if I like the star Hmm. And normally, um, when you guys see me film, I like to lay out the decorative and then add the bullets. But for this one, I kind of want to see where I'm going to lay out my bullets and boxes so I can build the branches around that. I'm just going to trim it. All right, that looks good. I'm going to bring, out, bring over the yellow on this side. Cool. All right, so I'm going to bring out my Joanne Mega Book. Um, so I showed you this last time that it has really great options for colorful boxes and also the bullet points. Um, just trying to see. These are kind of cute. Best weekend ever. Cheers to the weekend. So let's see what that will look like. That's kind of cute. There's this one that says more weekend, less Monday. Let's see if I can make that work here. Oh, that's cute. I like that. And that's just like the same fall colors. So cute. All right. So now I want to look at the bullet points that they have. I'm not sure if I want to do this yellow because I feel like it's a little bit too bright of a yellow. Maybe I'll do the orange this time around. Yeah, I think orange is going to look nice. So Tuesday. Well, let me just see what this... I wonder if I should do the orange and this burgundy. How's that look? Because it pulls a little bit of this color. Why did this not peel off? That was weird. Okay, let me try this one again. It just didn't peel off completely. Like a sticker. <laughs> okay, that's better. So I think it pulls this color nicely. I like that. It has like a nice autumn vibe to it. So, so I'm trying to figure out because I want to bring in this yellow box to bring in some of the yellow, but I think I want to balance the boxes on this side. And I'm going to do one on Sunday because there's not, I mean, there is space to write, but not as much as I want for Sunday. Because Sundays are normally when I post videos um, for YouTube. So I'm going to lay this one down and then I'm going to put a thin one right above it. Just trying to see if I should do this color to pull in again that color that I'm using. I think that'll work. That actually looks cute. And what I'm going to do is um, move this one down a little bit so I have space to kind of build branches around it. 
And I have an idea. I'm going to take this one off. Hopefully I can lift this up. Okay, I'm going to take that one off. And I'm going to bring in some of the stickers from Jessica's in a little bit. But let me just finish putting my bullet points so I know where I can work around. I'm going to be posting every day where my social media spread. And now I can start building around that, the branches and stuff. Just because with these leaves, I feel like I need to know where things are going to be at so it's easier for me to lay things down. So now I'm going to lay this one like right here. Like so. And that looks so cute. So I'm going to alternate between both the best year yet, I mean best year ever, excuse me, and then the uh, sticker book from Jessica, Live Love Posh. So I'm going to alternate between both of them and just finish off this spread with some fun details of like leaves and stuff. Cause this is totally making me feel like it's fall time y'all. So this is actually cute right there. Okay. I love that. And that one suggestion that at least for me that I like to do is if I lay down a sticker that is on white paper backing, like a paper sticker, I'm not sure if you could see this little bit of an edge that kind of overlays on the, the uh, box. I like to trim that so it looks clean and it just, it, it um, allows the box to just, you know, be visible and you can still see your sticker. So sometimes it's just about trimming a little bit of that white um, surrounding of your sticker paper. So I do have this large branch. Just this one, you gotta be very careful when you're peeling it because it's like very intricate. Just trying to see how I can do this. Which way do I want it to? Okay. I wonder if I can mix in some of the ones from Jessica, like a pink one. Okay, coming out of this side. So this is why I wanted to lay out my bullet points so I can see how much space I need to leave um, for planning. So now I'm just going through and I think now I just want to add a couple of small leaves. I added that large one here just because it's more of a empty space. So I want to add this yellow one. This one's from Jessica's. I'm trying to see where I want to add this. I want to add like that. Or like this. Let me just see if I can add this branch just a little bit. Yeah, I can do some kind of leaf situation here. So I think I'm gonna have this one go in the corner. Okay, and then maybe this one like this. Or actually, maybe this one kind of, like I'll trim that part right there. So let's trim it. Okay, cute. I wonder if I can add this somewhere. Maybe this one right there. Okay, that's cute. And then this one needs to get trimmed. Just trying to see where do I need to trim? Oh, it needs to be under the black line. Is there anything else I want to add to this? I think this looks good. Um, I think I will add some of these tiny, tiny leaves just around here on these boxes, just so it adds something to the box. Like that, yeah, that's what it needs. So this is again from the best year ever, and I'm going now to pick little tiny leaves because I don't want it to be too much, but just in some spots that need some color. All right, where can I put this guy? Maybe that. And All right, Vite Bakers, the spread is done. And is that not the cutest little spread with this dog and the girls enjoying fall leaves falling, the color of leaves changing? Here in Arizona, we don't have that much, but when I have the setup and my spreads look like it's fall time, it automatically makes me feel like I'm in fall. So sometimes it's just little things like this that get you in the spirit of the season. So that's what I like to do. And I like that I did these colors, these like fun autumn colors. And um, sometimes it's just bringing in like the bullet color, bullet points, excuse me, and the boxes to kind of coordinate with your color scheme. And definitely recommend cutting your Mambi stick prior to 
sticking it down if it's something you're gonna trim. But I was able to make it work with some leaves added here. And it's so cute, I love him, he's so adorable. So let me bring this up close. So I like that little um, banner too that says more, more weekend, less Monday. And again, those are from the Joanne's Mega Sticker Book. But I see those in so many of the sticker books that we have. So just look, look around and see what you have available. And I love all the combination of the branches from the best year ever from the Happy Planner and then the leaves from Jessica's sticker book. It's just so pretty. I love it. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the little setup. Um, it was definitely fun trying to work around the setup and not burn myself with the candle, but it really does make me feel really cozy and ready for fall time. And that's really what I want my videos to do. It's not only be fun and inspirational, but kind of transport you to a nice, fun um, time. So I'm taking you guys to fall. Even if you live in Arizona like I do, we're going to fall with this you know, layout and stuff. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button and if you are new to my channel, subscribe to my channel. I'm always posting videos. Um, I'm trying my best to keep up with all projects that I have in my personal life and filming, but I just love being able to connect with you guys through my YouTube videos. And um, make sure to share my video if it's something that you think someone else might enjoy or get inspired by. Share my YouTube video because that also is great to be able to bring new vibe makers into our vibe maker tribe. Um, but I really appreciate all the comments that you guys always leave in the comment section below because it just makes my heart so happy and I feel so excited to come and film videos for you guys. Um, but with that, I leave you as I always do guys. Peace and love. Mm -hmm.